Hey, what's going on my people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian and this is Kingdom Sense. Now today, we're going to do a little bit of a different video. Um, recently, I was with my wife. We were at um, we were at Burlington and we decided to look at some of the fragrance that they have. And uh, just in case you didn't know, Burlington not only has uh, some pretty good fragrances, they also have a lot of good selection of sneakers lately. So check them out if you're interested. But uh, we picked up a few fragrances and I want to bring a few fragrances that I got off rack stores or off Burlington that I think are a really good pickup. Some of these are new that I've never smelled before and some of them I have smelled before. So let's get right into it. The first fragrance that I want to uh, mention is uh, Azaro Porome. Uh um, Azaro Porome this is only like a little 30 milliliter um, bottle. So it's supposed to be an old school classic type of fragrance. So let's check it out. See, when I'm not behind the camera, taking this cellophane off is easy. As soon as I get back here, it's like they sealed this thing. This is crazy. There we go. All right, so here we go. Azaro Porom. I'm not gonna get into. Uh, I'm not gonna get into too much of the packaging, just because. I mean, I guess whatever. It's real quick. Uh, shiny little, uh, shiny little box that has Azaro Porom with the uh, size and concentration on the front, and the. That's it. <laughs> And there you go, little 30 milliliter of Zero Porom. All right, so let's grab a, let's grab a strip, check it out. Uh, yeah, so Zero Porom has the little A etched into the glass. Zero Porom in the front, nothing on the back, nothing in the bottom. Uh, plastic cheap cap. This one cost about seventeen dollars, so. And pretty bad atomizer <laughs> and pretty cheap atomizer. Wow. <laughs> All right. So Azaro Porom, I have the notes pulled up here and this is definitely like a barbershop fougere type of fragrance, but it's like a real, real classic fragrance. Yeah, old school classic. I mean, <clears throat> you're looking at lavender, lemon, uh, basil, bergamot, clary sage, iris, star anise, vetiver, sandalwood, patchouli, cedar, juniper, cardamom, oak moss, leather, amber, musk, and tonka bean. I mean, that is, that's a heck of a, a note break. That's a lot of, what is this, roja? Wow. Um. I mean, what can I say? It smells classic. It smells clean. It smells like you just got out the chair at the barbers. It smells like the the, the little uh, old school, um, I forget what it was called. It's like the green bottle that they used to uh, club men, club men or something. That the, the shaving cream they, they used to put on your beard before they shave you in the barbershop. Now they have a lot of uh, modern scents, but before it was just, that was like the scent to go with, you know, the little green bottle. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you like a class, if you're a, an older gentleman or if you're a young guy that likes old school vintage type fragrances, I think that you're going to like this one. I think that me personally, I would have to be in the mood to wear something like this, but I, it wouldn't be my go-to. I do, I do think it smells good. I think it smells clean. It smells classic. It smells fougere. It smells like 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 an old school barbershop. Honestly, that's what it smells like. And I think, uh, I think it smells pretty good. And for the price, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. If you have like a, a father or a grandfather or something like that, and you want to get them something that is going to remind them of the good old days, this will be a nice little pickup. So... 
That is Azaro Porom. It's a eau de toilette. All right. So next, I I also want to include in this video some recommendations for some female fragrances because I know 99% of the people that watch my videos are men, but men have girlfriends, men have wives, and maybe you'll have a little straggler there, of a female that comes to the channel and watches my video, and I don't want to be, I want to be a little bit inclusive. So this is going to be a fragrance that I am going to, well, this is, we. I picked this up for my wife. Uh, she's never smelled it. I smelled it before, but it's been a very, very long time because I was, I was much, much younger when I smelled this fragrance. This is Tommy Hilfiger's Tommy Girl. And this bottle costs like $15. So it's a nice little uh, 30 milliliter again. Um, I mean, bottle, uh, box presentation. It's just a regular cardboard box. Has Tommy Hilfiger all over it with the little white and blue lines. Here is the bottle. It is a very cheap looking bottle with like the little cheap letters and the cap is really cheap and plastic. I mean, all around very cheap presentation. But what matters is the scent. That is the biggest thing that we should be caring about. So here's the atomizer. Nice wide mist. Oh, man. See, when it comes to female fragrances, I'm not a big fan of smelling uh, female fragrances that are really, really sweet, like overpoweringly sweet, like almost headache inducingly sweet. I'm not a big fan of that. And this fragrance is not like that. This fragrance is definitely a more, a more citrusy, fresh, white floral fragrance. It is, it is a very clean. I mean, when you think of a fragrance like this, think of like Mark Jacobs Daisy or, um, or, um, Dolce & Gabbana light blue for women. Like that is the type of fragrance that this is very citrusy, but it's like a, like a, like a nice clean citrus. It's not like a real punchy citrus. So in the, in the top notes, you have apple tree blossom. You have some camella, mandarin, orange, and black currant middle notes. You have lemon, honeysuckle, rose, grapefruit, lily of the valley some mint and violet and then in the in the base you have some magnolia and jasmine which is the white floral cedar sandalwood and leather that's incredible that they put leather in here but it doesn't smell like leather is just like a base like it's just in the background somewhere just something to give it a little bit more substance but majority that you the the the, the most the most of the things that you smell from here is citrus and florals that's the main take that you get from here is citrus white florals it smells like springtime it smells fresh it is a great 15 dollars you this is a great put in your purse and go type fragrance like if you need to go to the supermarket you need to go to walmart you need to go i don't know get your car wash or whatever like any little things that you want to do that you're not really going out getting dressed up or anything like that this is a safe safe fragrance for a female to wear it is clean it is oh i love it it smells so good yep 15 dollars, well worth it my wife smelled it my wife loved it she said that one bottle is not going to be enough so we'll see if we'll if we find another bottle but yeah that's going to be a tommy girl by Tommy Hilfiger. So the next fragrance I have is also by Tommy, and that is actually just going to be regular Tommy. Now, I don't have the box for this one because this one is one that I picked up from a rack store, but it was um, like a few weeks ago or a month ago or something like that. But this man, 
This is green, fresh, citrusy. Like this is so like this reminds me of my childhood. So I th I have a little bit of uh, nostalgia when I wear this, and also it's a little biased probably, but also atomizer. Nice, wide, big spray. Oh man, this smells so good, man. I mean, presentation, cheap. Like, you know, bottle, cheap. Cap, plastic, cheap, real cheap. I mean, but the fragrance, man. This is another just grab and go, easy to wear. Um, the, the notes on this are much simpler than the other one. This is mint bergamot grapefruit lavender some granny smith apples cranberry rose cotton flower cactus and amber those are the fragrant those are the notes of tommy by tommy hilfiger and man does this smell good bro i know that um ross from tltg reviews he said that he he mentioned that there is a more like upscale version of tommy um and i would like to know exactly what that would what that is if you guys know or if you have seen that video please leave it in the comments so that i could check it out but i know that i love this fragrance so much the only thing is it and the, what can i say i love this fragrance it lasts on me actually quite a while because it is an eau de toilette is it an eau de toilette yeah it's an eau de toilette concentration but it lasts a, a while on my skin it projects heavy. It's just an all around great fragrance. And if they have a, a niche, higher quality version of this, psh, man, I'm I'm there. So real quick, Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy for men, it is a great buy. It costs like 15 bucks and you could just put it in your glove compartment if, you, if you're not afraid of like it getting hot or whatever like that, whatever, but it's just a grab and go fragrance. It's easy, easy, easy grab and go fragrance. And it's green, fresh, especially springtime's coming up. Great pickup. All right. So now let's go back to a female fragrance for my females or my guys that is, are, are looking for a uh, fragrance um, for one of their, their females. Um, this is from Banana Republic. I've never heard of this fragrance. My wife picked it up. She liked the box. <laughs> She liked the box and then we looked up the notes and then the notes seemed to be um, interesting to her. So she picked it up and that's cool. Uh, this one's called Malachite. It's called Malachite by Banana Republic. This is an eau de parfum concentration. And let's check out, I mean, the box, pretty simple. Box. It has like these uh, green, like, I don't know what this green pattern is. Um, so let's open it up. I have not smelled this. She has, but I have not. So in the box, plain box, not even any type of support so it won't move. But here is the bottle. Okay. I love that green. Um, it has like the Malachite Banana Republic in the front. The cap, it spins. Ooh, but it is in there. Wow. All right, we have another plastic cheap cap. But when I tell you that thing clicks on, if you want to do this, you, can, you can't do that with the other ones. This one, man. Um, you have a batch code on the bottom. Nothing on the back. Nothing on the top. Let's check out the atomizer and see what it smells like. So, there you go. It's okay. It's all right. For this was also a fifteen dollar fragrance. Another very subtle, fresh, floral fragrance. This is another. It's a little bit more floral. It's not as much citrusy as like the other one. This one's definitely a little bit more floral. But this is not white floral. This is just this is just floral. This is it has I 
I think it might have peony. Hmm. Might have peony in here. Let me look up the notes real quick. Let me see. Okay. Notes. White hyacinth. That's a flower. It's purple. Uh, peony. Green mango. Sandalwood musk. Pepper and vanilla. Very interesting. So on this fragrance, it's mostly floral. That's mostly all you get is floral. You may get a little bit of the sweetness from the mango, just a tiny bit, but not much. This is mostly musk and floral. Sandalwood gives it a little bit more of like a like a body, like a like a roundness to it. I don't get much of the pepper in here. Or the vanilla. Maybe when it dries down, you get more vanilla, but this is a floral, clean, easy to wear, fresh fragrance. This is another great, great spring and summertime fragrance. Like great spring and summer summertime fragrance. I like it a lot, actually. Wow. This is man, I'm telling you. Look, we bought all these fragrances and we spent less money than what you would spend on one single fragrance in like a Macy's or something, you know, or like, or like one of those uh, department stores. So, I mean, the, the, you telling me that you don't, that you have no excuse for not smelling good, you know what I mean? Like some people it's not, it's not that important. All right, so the last fragrance is a fragrance that I'm actually very excited about. This fragrance is a fragrance that I've heard a lot about a lot of people. This is uh, a lot of people's favorite from the house, but um, I was looking through and I was seeing a whole bunch of the other ones that they had, but I was looking for this one specifically and they only had one and I found it and I got it. So um, this one costs $22.99. There you go. And this one is from the house of Banana Republic 78 Vintage Green. Man, I'm so excited for this. When I saw the note breakdown, when I was at the store, I was like, springtime's coming up. I need to check this out, man. <clears throat> All right, and sorry for the noise, but this is a real First impression. Uh, I love the presentation of these Banana Republic uh, fragrances. This is a clean matte matte uh, finish box. It's a black box. It is um, it says vintage green on there. It's a sticker. Has a little green line on the bottom. And then you have a little tab here, and you just slide it out, and there's the fragrance. So very nice presentation. I like the quality of everything that has because this is not my first banana republic icon line so yeah this one i mean the the cap it is a metal very heavy cap um nice thick glass i mean i don't know if you could see like how thick that glass is at the bottom so yeah thick glass you get about was it 75 milliliters yeah 75 milliliters uh, the the bottle is a nice clean. This is like a brushed um, metal finish on the cap. It's heavy. It clicks into place. Um, you have the sticker on there. Nice clean bottle. Uh, at the bottom you have a sticker with the batch code, size and concentration. This is Eau de Parfum. Nothing on the back. Nothing on the top. And let's check out the atomizer and see what this smells like. All right, so here we go. That's a good atomizer, man. Nice atomizer. All right. Wow. Oh, that smells so good. And and it has one of my favorite notes when it comes to spring and, and, and summertime fragrances. It has fig. 
I love Fig. Like Fig is such a tropical, vibrant, uplifting note. Like I think that it smells so good. I have um, I have another video coming up. I got uh, Fico di Amalfi by um, by. Oh my God! What's the, what's the name of the house? The Italian house, Fico di Amalfi by Aqua di Parma. I have that fragrance. I'm gonna make a video on it coming soon. I haven't worn it. I have I have smelled it, but I haven't worn it. So it's gonna be a glorified first impression. This fragrance smells so good. No alcohol blast in the front. Um, it does smell a little light. Maybe it's different on skin. Oh no, here we go. Oh my god, it smells so good, man. Okay. This one. You have some green leaves, bergamot and mandarin oranges at the top. You have green tea. I love the smell of green tea. It's just so relaxing. This, this, the, the scent of green tea, the note of green tea is so relaxing to me. You have fig, jasmine and magnolia. So the same two notes as the other white floral. And then you have vetiver, musk and cedar. So you definitely get that woodiness in the back. Okay, you get vetiver, but it's a clean, clean vetiver. You get the must, the fig in the opening. Definitely the fig is, is more. Oh no, you still get it. You get it. Oh man, that, that, that green tea and fig combination is so good because green tea is relaxing, but fig is like uplifting. So it's just, oh, it's so good, man. This is, this is great. I absolutely love this, man. If you guys are in Burlington, Co-Factory, Marshalls, Ross, whatever, and you see Banana Republic's 78 Vintage Green, I suggest that you definitely, definitely get a bottle. $22, this is way worth $22. I mean, presentation, the bottle, the cap, the quality man i love this i love it so much great great springtime fragrance i can't say anything about the longevity um for a for a fresh screen uh springtime fragrance i think that it might not last that long but i can't say much until i actually try it on my skin i'll give you guys an updated uh video in the future but for now all you got to know is that Vintage Green is the winner of this video. Vintage Green is a great, 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 great fragrance. I, I love it so much. Well, this one has little floaties in there. Hmm. Not that many, but but yeah, that is going to be it for me. That's going to be five fragrances that I got off Burlington Co Factory from a rack store that was cheap and they all smell really good. So um, go ahead and go over to your local Burlington, see what you have there, uh, pull up for a grand ticket, check out the notes, see if they appeal to you. And at the end of the day, you're not going to be paying much for most of those fragrances anyway. Some of them be, be, be careful. Cause you have like, they're trying to charge for Dolce & Gabbana light blue, the original, the small bottle, they're trying to charge like 40, $50, which is, I think is way overpriced, but just. Check the prices there compared to other other websites, and then you, you could get some really, really good deals there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I love you guys to death. Please leave a like on the, on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And also leave a comment down below. What is your best rack store find? I would love to hear from you in the comments. I try to reply to everyone that, that comments on my videos. So leave a comment down below and we could just have a conversation. But anyway, thank you guys so much for, for watching. Have a blessed day and take care.